Welcome back, survivors. I'm Chewbubba01. And in this uh, update slash episode, I guess, uh, I am going into one of the caves, which I don't think I ever went into any of the caves on the island on the series I did on the Xbox. And uh, so I, I, I knew this was going to be a disaster, so I thought I'd go ahead and record it. <laughs> uh, where are we? Okay, so... Um, I don't even know the name of the cave. Uh, I went in it on foot already. And, uh, oh, wait, hang on. There we go. And it did not go well, so I, I ran out. And when I ran out, I tamed this guy, this Baryonyx, which I have yet to name. But we are right here on the map. We're way down in the south. And to give you an uh, idea, um, there we go. And there's what everybody likes to call Stonehenge. And we are right across this little inlet of water. And uh, kind of where the land sticks out a little bit, but not all the way to where it goes up into that river. That's too far. And so to get to this cave, if you've never been here, uh, the way I get there is I just kind of head into the forest and well you can't see it but up there ahead of me see that cliff we're gonna head to that that cliff face and keep that to our left now the baryonyx eats fish and this berry is hopefully loaded with enough fish because it's gonna get crazy in there probably um, now, like I said, I was here earlier, and I'm just, like I said, I'm just keeping that cliff face to my left. I just keep going. It, it's not really a path. But I was here earlier, and so I built a little outpost, uh, threw a bed in it, and that's when I went in on foot, and that didn't go well. So here's my little output. Output? Yep, there's my output. There's my outpost. And right there is the cave entrance. Now, if you don't know anything about caves on Ark, uh, the caves are important to uh, beating the game because they contain what are called artifacts. And these artifacts, uh, you need them to unlock the boss fights. And there is one in each cave, and there's like 10 caves uh, on the island. Uh, most of them are above ground, but there's a few that are underwater, and a lot of them are really hard. Uh, there's one where you have to go in on foot, and I think I think some really experienced players probably do this one on foot, but, you know, uh, I, I got chased out. Four Titanoboas came at me at the same time, and my little rifle is just too slow. So uh, I tamed him up, and we're going to go in here because these are great caving critters. These and Thylacolio are my favorites. Although you can take saber tooths into the caves and I think dire wolves. You may think, well why not take something more ferocious? And and that's because the Baryonyx it has a really skinny profile. And so in some of the caves you can only get in or get through these little narrow areas, the Baryonyx will fit. Now, if you have, um, oh, what are those things called? Cryopods, you know, then that eliminates a lot of the problem. It's this way. Oh, some place we don't want to go. Or some place we can't go. Anyway, if you have cryopods, that eliminates a lot of the problem. Um, but I don't have cryopods yet. Or I have, I think that I've unlocked them, but I've not, um, I've not made any, because I won't be able to keep them around for very long. Right now, the only thing that's really bothering me here is the camera angle, but that's not any better. I should have left my Noglin outside. Oh well. Oh well. Right. Oh, did you see that? That means we're getting close. 
that's a result of the artifact. Now we can go to the left or the right, and I don't remember which way to go, or which way I went last time. So, we'll, we'll go right. Oh, okay, scorpion. Now, the real reason I'm here is not for the artifact. Uh, I'm actually here looking for dung beetles. And I'm not even sure how I'm going to get them back to the base. But I'm looking for a dung beetle. Those are spiders. Yeah, see, I would have been... I would have gotten hammered here. That's one, two, three, four, five spiders. And there's six and seven. Over there. I don't have any weapons good enough to handle seven spiders on my own. Alright, so we gotta go in here and get rid of stuff. The Baryonyx does not eat meat, so we're just gonna throw that on the ground. And... Melee. So I need dung beetles to help my... Oh, wow. See that guy hanging in midair? That's bad news. Alright, anyway, um, before I was rudely interrupted, I was saying I need the dung beetles for my greenhouse. Um, because I need fertilizer and lots of it. And uh, that's the dung beetle's specialty. Uh, we'll add it to melee again. I'm just going to make you a melee monster. Now, I'm wearing hide armor, so I'm not wearing very strong armor, but that was intentional. When you come in the caves, there are things that look like giant centipedes. And they spit out acid and stuff that will, like, totally wreck your armor. And so hide is easy to replace. All you need is fiber and... I'm sorry. Yeah, hide armor is easy to replace. All you need is fiber and hide. So I've got plenty of that. Uh, that thing that was hanging there mysteriously is a megalania. And so I think we're going to force it down. Here we go. Simply so it doesn't jump on my head. You know, I can almost see more without the torch. And there's a XP boost. The other good thing about a Baryonyx is this big thing of water Oh, oh, no, that's bad. Is uh, no problem for a Baryonyx. Because not only are they amazing swimmers, uh, they are downright lethal in the water. We're just going to chill for a minute. I'll take that. And, because that's, we'll need that at some point later in the game. And the trash. Go ahead and hit this now. A smaller relative of Sarcosuchus, Capricuchus palidentum, is a water-based carnivore primarily found lurking among the island's swamps. A naturally fast runner that is even faster in the water, it is a solitary hunter that picks off small to medium creatures, especially those isolated from their pack. When attacking, Capricuchus uses two main tactics. First, it patiently waits below the water surface, and when the target is sufficiently close by, will perform a lateral jump that it uses to quickly close distance with its prey and drag it underwater. Secondly, it attacks the prey's vital areas specifically to drain its stamina. These two techniques effectively prevent most creatures from escaping Caprasuchus once an assault has begun. 
Survivors are generally split about the usefulness of Caprasuchus. Some love its speed, both in and out of the water, essentially making it among the fastest small sides of the all terrain mounts for the lovely through the weapons. Others do not like how relatively the Okay, so I get, I get a point. Noise. Let's go. Ooh, I don't know. Mm. No, we'll throw it on weight. No, skin. That should bring me up to like level 74. Look at that. Wreck saddle. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay, yeah, see, and there goes. There goes like all my armor. Oh, get him. Get him. So all the poop in my inventory is for the dung beetle. So let's repair, 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 repair. It demolished all my, all my armor. <laughs> It's safe. It seems to be. Oops. That's awesome. We gotta put poop in our last slot. And I, I threw the poop at him. Sixty percent and a level one hundred. Man, if I can get that thing out of here, that'll be amazing. All right, so let's see. Can I pick you up? Yes, I can. Can I get on here with the beetle? I can. Okay, so we're gonna leave, but I will come back and get an artifact because, I mean, I'm here. Why not? Right. Uh, let's just try to get out of here alive. Hmm. Okay. garbage yeah, nothing worth keeping I think maybe I went the wrong way I don't know we'll see A scorpion more critters I 
thought maybe I would run out of here, but you know. That's not working out so well. Dude. 135. gone deeper into the cave, which is not what I, oh, we have. <laughs> the artifact is right in there, but I don't want to go in there and get it. Like I said, I'm here for the dung beetle. The Baryonyx has some torpor. That's the purple flashing. We'll just... You know, when you're in a cave, just keep going up. That's usually the, the way out. It's just up and up and further up. We had to take a poop stop. Just keep going up. Uh, we should be near the exit. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hop off and there you go. Okay, dung beetle. Come over here. Everybody passive. It's just gonna have to be good enough. Here, have some poop. Make fertilizer. And we're gonna go back in, get the artifact, and hopefully pick up a second one. A second dung beetle. Oh, my torch is not there. Uh, let's let's put Torchy at number five. All right, go in. We might, we might go in the water. I think in this cave there might be loot down in the water. Sometimes. A lot of these caves you can find some really good loot. The music's still going, so that means it is not safe. But I don't see the threat. Which means it might be a spider stuck in a wall or something. Someone's 
behind me. Oh man. What have I got into? Alright, we're gonna jump. Jump again. Jump again. Now. Get a face full of teeth. No dung beetles up there. That's where we gotta go on foot to get to the... To get to the artifact, but I, I wanna go backwards. See this weird little outcropping? You know, I thought there was a XP boost here, but I may just be remembering... Oh, there was the trouble. You're the trouble in here. Into the water. Oh. The Baryonyx doesn't need to come up for air. I do. I'll go up here so I can get some air. Let the piranha come catch me. So tough. Go up here. Come up here so you can recover some stamina. We got a lot of fish. Force feed the fish and look at the health shoot up. It's nuts. Alright, so we're gonna throw a bunch of this overboard. There we go. Alright, let's go check the bottom for loot. They look like the glowing crates from that you see on the surface, except smaller. Oh. Sarko must be hurt. He's trying to get away. Oh, 
if it isn't here. The second one. Ooh. Baryonyx is almost tuckered out. Let's just start here. Start throwing everything out. Right, maybe right here. I love that so much more than on the Xbox. <laughs> you can't do that on the Xbox. Alright, I don't see any glowing things down here. So, up we go. Do I know where we're at? Nah, no idea. Oh, I will tell you that. Oh, oh, there's a loot. There's a loot. <laughs> uh, and there's a... There's another XP boost. Alright, so we're going to be smart about this. And, okay, club and blueprint. We'll go ahead and hit this. Leech. And just attaches to any nearby living flesh in an attempt to drain that creature's blood. Removing human requires precision labor or access to an open flame. Both of these can be nearly as dangerous. I got two to leeches. As to the leech itself, just trying to get this baryonyx. Once the attaches to a host, it drains blood at a rapid pace, and the host oh, experiences the party. I wonder if they fix the Arthropleura's aiming. Because they used to not be able to hit me when I was on the very own with their little stick. There's some already in the washer, it just needs to go in the dryer. Repair, 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 repair. Oh, there we go. Repair. Okay, we really got beat up. Some fish. Let's put this back on. Now, if you have Helena, when you go past these things, she will speak. I may have to step over here and then go back. I notice there's lots of metal down here. I mean, there's lots of, I mean, there's crystal, obsidian, all kinds of useful resources down here. But as you can see, it's not very safe. She's not wanting to talk. Uh, we'll leave her out instead of the Noglin for a while. We need to find that artifact. There's a bunch of snakes over here.
Repair, 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 repair. Another, another power up. So, in addition to all of your oddities and found it, here's a real challenge on top. Taming them is a piece of piss. A bit of training, and they're more obedient than the family dog. Now, I've heard of sharks getting very rudimentary training over a year or so, but not to this extent. Certainly not so easily. Sharks aren't mammals or even avians, they're fish. They rely more on instinct, or to put it simply, they're not very smart. You shouldn't be able to ride one like a jet ski. I'm trying to keep an open mind like what was suggested, but this just feels wrong. Alright, so I may have to wiggle my way around back to where we found the dung beetle, because that was really close to the artifact. In fact, it was past that, because I remember looking that way. And and that was the well we got that one so I did not go that way which is probably a shortcut but we're gonna go back down here Maybe it wasn't over here. This is it. Okay. Now we're going in for the artifact. We have armor on. It's like super trippy, isn't it? Back to the hunter. Okay, now we're gonna run out. Now I'm not just gonna get out of here. I didn't see any other dung beetles. That's a f that's okay. One is better than zero. Uh, if you tame an otter, uh, the otter will hold more than one otter artifact. And so you could stay and get three, or you know, however many you wanted, or needed. You generally need at least three. But I don't have an otter. I can remember making oh, a bunch see, of see, there's the thing that triggered Helena. Right. Well, let's look at it. Only one of these may be carried at a time by an organism. That's right. I can only carry one of these. Which is why the... Um, 
the otter is a great bonus because you can carry more than or the otter can carry more than one anyway it looks like one dung beetle is all I'm gonna get this time so I'm gonna go I have to go back have to go back to my base on foot and um, or not on foot but on the baryonyx and then fly back with an RG to see what's going on but that's how you do the cave of the hunter or the artifact of the hunter and thanks for watching and I'll see you around